let's talk about love. There's a difference between the experience, which is momentarily, and the undercurrent. Our undercurrent, our foundation, our stability is love. Let's talk about joy. I live a joyful life. I love what I do. I love the house I live in. I love the area I live in. I love the people I communicate with. I love the students. I love the audience. I love my job. Uh, I love this jacket. Uh, I love the fact that I'm 58 and I still have hair. Okay, it's starting to do its own thing. There's a huge amount of things in life that I love that brings me joy. Are there days that I'm sad? Are there days that I'm feeling momentarily even depressed? Are there mornings I wake up and I say, I'm not sure if I can do this today? Absolutely. But the undercurrent of my life is a life of joy. So what about wealth? You see, we live in a world where people are saying, oh, I don't have enough to and I'm struggling. And I look around at the background and I notice they're sitting in the room with a ceiling. And on top of that ceiling, there's a roof. And on the sides of them, there are walls made of brick. And they've got these magical things installed on the walls. And I see some of you guys have got this new technology that you can install in a wall and you can actually look through the wall. Amazing. It's called a window. You even got that installed. Some of you guys are sitting on luxury chairs. The kind of chairs that the kings and queens 300 years ago would desire to have. You're sitting on those beautiful chairs at the moment. You're in a safe environment. If the weather comes, you're safe and you're secure. The moment we realize we are living in absolute affluence, the moment we realize that we are actually living in extreme abundance of wealth, the switch can start flipping. You see, the cardinal key to wealth is to understand gratitude and to be absolutely grateful for what you have. If you have no gratitude, you cannot experience wealth. When these moments come very often, be it love, be it joy, be it health, be it wealth, a variety of different moments in our lives, the moment we have these negative experiences, we think about them. We entertain them. We open the barn doors of our minds and our emotions and we let them flood in. We dilute the abundance we have through negative associations of critical thinking.